In this video I will show you how to turn a pencil into an animatronic leg, this hand boning toy into a foot, and show you the best hand I've ever made, which was also the first hand I've ever made. Let's do this. Welcome to DIY. Why? Because I gotta. This video is first of a series where I'm gonna turn these Five Nights at Freddy's toy characters and turn them into FNAF 2 characters because I think they look oh, pretty yeah. sick. Yummy. Yeah, I mean. The first one I will be doing is Bonnie. It's my personal favourite, I think, because the face is missing. So let's begin. Hello. Right, the first section we're gonna do is his legs. Beep beep. Yeah, do it, man. Do it. What the? Do it. So this part shows a lot of the endoskeleton showing. So we'll be making that section first. So to make the animatronic leg, I used beads, which is the whole process is just finding bits that look like the shapes that looks like the bits that you want for the shapes that you want. Great story. For this section, I used these donut shapes with a little bead thing and wire. That was all. We obviously had to make two of these legs, but after gluing on all that, it started to look like the animatronic legs that we all know and love. Confused? Well, after making that, we can drill a hole through the leg, get the power carver and make it exactly the same as it is on the picture. And we can uh, squeeze this in and then I think you can get a rough idea of what I'm getting at right here, man. Oh, nice. Lego! No, please! Not the Lego! Anything but the Lego! No! Shut up, you. Now we've done the legs, we can now move on to the feet. Beep, beep. Stinky! Pew! <sighs> Alright, these feet are not symmetrical. One has a robot toe. Nice. Oh, lovely feet pick. Goodbye, kneecaps. Now, after looking at the animatronic section of this leg, I realised it is literally just a pencil. So I used a pencil. I'll tell you what. He's using a pencil. I know. I think he has actually lost his mind. Using a pencil. How is that going to work? What? He's just putting stuff together. I think he thinks like he knows he knows what he's doing, but I don't think he knows what he's actually doing. God, he's just ruining this really awesome tie-dye toy. Oh, actually, if he paints it, maybe. I obliterated the ankle and added some beads. What the? What's going on? Oh. Nice. Now to make that robotic foot. It did take a while looking through all my plastic, but I did realise that the hand boning toy was the best toy for this job. Hand boning will save your life someday. After taking apart this toy, I made a few cuts, glued it together, and realised these finger bits are the perfect size for the toes. That's nice. It's time for a new technique. Add this to your arsenal. Not that arsenal, this this arsenal. D don't worry. So I have a slight problem. I have this huge gaping hole in the foot. I don't want that. So I tried using these sticker labels, putting some super glue on them, and shoving it right on that hole. No. After a few attempts and a little bit of mucking about, I managed to get what I wanted. After that, all I had to do was cut the original foot off and add our new robotic foot. Oh, and I glued the feet on, by the way. But yes, that was it. Feet complete. It is now time for the body. Beep, beep. <laughs> Alright, that body? Quite easy. Uh, hello, old friend. <laughs> Please no! Ah! Ah! Just had to cut it in half and roughed up a few of the edges and also do the spine. Which was also made of beads, which is, this was something I was not proud of. But if you want me to make a full video showing everything I did, like I did with my wood table, let me down down in the comments section. Also made a hole in the sides for the wires for later, 
glue the shoulder pad on. Ignore the background. And glue some buttons on. Gee! That is the body complete. Ah! Arm time. It's very complicated, you see, because. Oh, that one's done. Just have to do the other one. Let's roll. Um. Held it. Twat. Right, so the arm is basically the same as the legs. I could have told you that. So I found this spring that looked very similar to the animatronic arm. I just it just wasn't big enough, so I wrapped some wire around it, and that actually did a pretty good job. And uh, I was happy with this sperm race. Now we did that. We just do the same thing we did with the legs. Screw some holes in it. Mark it. Put the things in. That's your arms. Very nice. There's just one arm. Now it is time for the hands. I actually had to use the hand boning toy again Saving and life. some Warhammer frame plastic, whatever that's called. I used the hand boning toy as the palm of the hand and the Warhammer plastic as the fingers. So all I did was cut it at an angle, then re glued it at a different angle, and then it started to look like joints in a finger. After that was glued together, the hand was done, the arm was done, we're all done! Oh wait, no, we still got the head. Beep, beep. So many teeth. <laughs> so if you're off Nan Faf, you know these animatronics actually have an extra spare drawer inside, which means I'm gonna have to do a lot of teeth. So first thing I did was mould his face off and made some room for his animatronic face. Jesus. Ooh, satisfying. Once that was ready, I started on making the animatronic face with beads and a wooden spoon. And a bit of Lego. Shh. This bit, I would say, is the face where the eye bits are. Then I had to make the top jaw section. Please stop using Lego. So after gluing the little bit of Lego, I put some Pritt stick onto the wood bit to really help me hold that teeth. And then I put super glue to hold it all together. And that actually worked. Damn, that lucky motherfucker. I repeated that process on the rest of them, but instead of using Pritt glue, I used blue tack Try hard. And obviously blue tack doesn't stay hard, so I had to cover it in super glue. And that worked actually really good. And the ears wasn't matching the picture, so I touched those up too. Touched? More like mutilated. <laughs> -ding. I think we've done. We are done. We are ready to primer everything. And this is where I see the magic happens. I haven't actually done anything like this before. But where all these bits look all different, once you prime it, it's going to all look like it's one thing. It does look a bit mishmash. It's only a little bit. It does look pretty sick. And I think this is going to be a really sick figure so um let's prime it and then paint it and then we're finally done oh i'm excited let's do this
Oh, nearly there. All I needed to do was add some coloured wires and that was it. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. It's one of my best videos I've done, I think. But it wouldn't be possible without my fiance. So please, in the chat, put G Waifu just to give her some respect. And if I'm not back in four weeks. Just wait longer. <laughs>